So this is Mr. Lewis, your Algebra 2 instructor. Let's talk about how we can use Mathematica to solve a typical investment problem. Let's read the problem together. Consider the problem of investing $100 every month at 3% interest, compounded monthly. We want, to track our, we want to track how our investment grows over time. This type of problem is not a regular compound interest problem because the investor keeps adding $100 to the fund every month. This type of problem is called an annuity. It is related to compound interest problems, but there's a twist. Okay, now let's figure this out. We have 3% compound interest, but it's being compounded every month. Uh, let's see, so that's... 0.0025 or 0.25%. And of course, we have to add the 1, just like in regular compound interest problems. Now, the formula for this, um, it's really not complicated. To figure out this month's balance, I have to take last month's balance, multiply that by 1.0025, and then add $100. So this right here is going to be my, my basic formula. All right? And of course, we start out with zero. We start with nothing. So let me hand the problem over to Mathematica. OK, we have a list of numbers here, but let's make this look a little bit cleaner so that it makes more sense. I'm going to, put the, I'm going to create a little bit of a spreadsheet. OK, this is my spreadsheet. I've created uh, a bunch of points here. So for example, the, the numbers on the left, that's the number of months. The numbers on the right show the balance. So once again, the left column contains the number of months. The right column contains my balance. For example, after 20 months, my balance is $2,048.22. Let's scroll down. After 46 months, my balance is $4,868.50. And finally, at the end, after 10 years, I have the number of months is 120 months, and my balance is $13,974.14. Now let's graph, let's graph these points. Let's see what they look like. Okay. It looks pretty close to linear. We, we could assume this is a linear equation, but that's probably not a very good assumption. To linearize the problem, forget about the compound interest. Let's say you're saving $100 a month without 3% interest. What would that look like? That would be y is equal to 100x. And that's going to look like this. That's, that line is turquoise. That's my turquoise line. Uh, what are the lines going to look like? What are the curves going to look like when I combine them into one picture? Okay. Y is equal to 100x is the turquoise line. That is the straight turquoise line. And what that means is simple. You're simply saving $100 every single month. And we're tracking this for the first 10 years, or 120 months. The purple magenta line represents saving $100 every month with the addition of 3% interest. Around here, you can see at the beginning, up until maybe 40 months, uh, the two curves are practically the same. But then something happens when you reach 40 months, you can see that they start to separate. The purple line gets bigger faster because, of course, you're making more money in the same amount of time. So therefore, it makes sense that you would want to invest your money with interest. Why would you want to save your money without interest? Okay? Um, I hope this has been beneficial to you and that this has helped you master a very important concept in both mathematics and financial investing. Have a great day.